Good evening and thank you for joining us. Wrongful death. Kyle Plush's family says the city of Cincinnati isn't doing enough to fix its 911 system after their teenage son's death. Now they worry it could happen to someone else. Evan Millward is on your side with a new lawsuit and what it says went tragically wrong. Evan. Yeah, and Kristen, here is that lawsuit just filed today. It alleges that there have been problems at the city's 911 center here for years. In fact, the Nine on Your Side I team has been reporting on those issues for years as well. But this suit says there was what it calls failure at every step of the way that prevented Kyle Plush from being rescued from the back of his minivan. We're litigating on their behalf to find the answers to all the problems that led to the death of their son on April 10th, 2018. Ron Plush found his son dead, crushed by his minivan back seat that day. Now two experts hired by the family say there was systematic failure despite the city finding no policy violations from either dispatcher or either police officer. Reckless, they were wanton, they were deliberately indifferent to Kyle's safety. 911 expert John Melcher says call taker Stephanie McGee. Sorry, 911 was the address of the emergency never shared location information with responding officers and waited seven minutes to update the CAD system. This turned out to be extremely accurate for the first call taken. He says she coded it wrong as unknown trouble instead of relaying the urgency of the call. Kyle says he's trapped, going to die, beating on the van. If she had classified it as a call for rescue, that would have sent fire and EMTs. Two officers, Brian Brazil and Edsel Osborne, were exonerated by the city, but expert Michael Lyman says that they should have used their phones to get Kyle's location from dispatch. They never did make it to the part of the parking lot he was in and never got out of their car. The officers were given all the information they needed, even though they could have been given so much more. Kyle calls 911 a second time while officers are on scene, but they never learn about it. The lawsuit says that call taker Amber Smith could hear Kyle, but used technology meant for deaf callers and then never listened to his call again. Kyle's saying a lot of really important things like I'm in a gold Honda Odyssey. I'm in the sophomore parking lot. I'm going to die. Tell my mother I love the plush family writes in part quote in order for the city to have any credibility about their ECC action plan or any reforms. They need to be honest about what happened. They failed our son. And when they screw up, we expect them to fess up. And the plushes now run the Answer the Call Foundation in their son's name. They have visited dozens of 911 centers across the country, working to make improvements at each of those as a system overall, really. Cincinnati, for its part, has pumped more than 100 grand into its 911 system and investigations into what happened to Kyle Plush. The family, though, says that is still not enough. We're live in South Fairmount tonight. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.